How do I run a full scan using Windows Defender? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for askleo.com. Running a full scan is actually one of the common things that people like me suggest whenever people are concerned that there might be malware on their machine or it's just acting up or they're fighting some kind of a problem. Let's show you how to do that. Let's run a full scan here in Windows 10 Home. We start by finding the Windows security icon. Normally, if you haven't changed the settings for your taskbar, it's right here down by this show hidden icons, this little up arrow carrot thingy. If you click on that, you'll see that it exposes a couple more icons. It'll vary depending on your system, which icons are exposed. But the one we care about is this shield with a check mark. You may not have a check mark. You may have something else. That's okay. Go ahead and click on that to bring up Windows security. Next, click on virus and threat protection. You can see we have the option here to do a quick scan, but what we're talking about instead is doing a full scan. Quick scans can be useful, don't get me wrong, but they're happening automatically. And you can see here that my machine already did a quick scan within the last 24 hours. So I'll go ahead and hit scan options instead. Now, once again, we have these options to do different kinds of scans. The scan we want to do is a full scan. So that's going to scan everything on this machine. Click on scan now and off it goes. So while that scan is happening, let's talk about the other kinds of scans that are available. You saw quick scan, which scans basically just the important stuff, the stuff that's usually infected. The full scan, which scans absolutely everything on your machine, which is, again, a great safety net if you think that there might be something going on. There's the custom scan. If you select custom scan, you can actually specify the folder that you want to have scanned and whether or not the entire contents of that folder should be scanned. That's a great way to, say, scan a download that you just got making sure that it's safe before you execute an installer or unzip a file or something like that. So that's something that's useful to know about. I'm not going to show you here, but it is a useful option to know about. The other option that you saw there was the Windows Defender offline scan. The problem that it solves is that there are certain files that Windows security cannot scan. These are the files that are currently in use by the operating system. Uh, Windows itself has files open, it has files locked, and that means that other programs, including the scanner, actually can't access the contents of those files. Scammers, hackers, malware authors know this, and they actually devise techniques to infect those files so that their stuff can remain hidden. Windows Defender Offline actually reboots into a kind of recovery mode that doesn't actually run your copy of Windows, but instead runs the Windows Defender anti-malware tool in a way such that all of those files can be scanned. Now, it is a useful tool if you suspect that your system truly is infected. Again, it's not something I'm covering in this video, but it is something that we'll cover in a video of the future. And we're done. You can see that the scan took, uh, what, five minutes in my case. This is a virtual machine with a smaller than average hard drive on a much faster machine. So your scan time will probably be significantly longer as it scans your entire hard disk. Exactly how long will depend on the speed of your system, the speed of your hard disk, and how many files actually need to be scanned. But that's the bottom line. That's what a full scan looks like. That's how you do it. And if you ever suspect malware in areas that perhaps Windows Defender or Microsoft Security, as it's now called, hasn't caught, it's certainly a safe thing to run and run at any time for any reason. I hope that was helpful. Uh, for the article that this was based on, which includes additional links and comments, visit askleo.com slash 124848. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.